With guns in hand, Dinka tribesmen move their cattle to the last remaining water source in the area. By the end of South Sudan's dry season, as grazing grounds diminish and water becomes increasingly scarce, violence between cattle herding tribes is on the rise. They congregate at remote riversides and brace for conflicts to protect their prized cattle herds and the vital resources that sustain them. For the Dinka and numerous other pastoral tribes in South Sudan, cattle are the center of life. They determine social and familial status, play a crucial role in spiritual and religious practices, and serve as the dowries for marriage. <laughs> With such complex and social value attached to these animals, they become the effective currency in remote pastoral communities, often more coveted than printed notes or other bartered goods. <laughs> The value of cattle, both for social prestige and material wealth, leads to deadly and protracted conflicts as cattle-keeping tribes fight to control the maximum number of cows. The phenomenon of violent cattle raiding is a leading cause of death, injury, and displacement in South Sudan, often causing thousands of deaths each year. These costly battles typically occur in extremely remote areas where state institutions such as police and military forces are not present. Daniel Deng Lual heads South Sudan's Community Security and Small Arms Control Committee and leads efforts to rein in armed violence and reduce weapons possession. Uh, possession, gun possession has been a way of life in certain communities, especially the pastoral communities in South Sudan. Well, nowadays is the, the issue is becomes a cow and a gun. A cow as wealth, prestige, can solve issues of social dimensions like marriages, like what? On the arid and hostile plains, Deng Ador commands a large unit of armed cattle keepers along the last remaining river in his area. His sub-tribe of Dinka have consolidated their herds along this river in order to make them easier to defend from raids by neighboring sub-tribes. With no signs of state authorities, Deng and his men have taken it upon themselves to secure their herds and provide security for their community. Beyond the persistent threat of raiding, the battle for resources is a significant source of violence. In recent years, erratic rainfall patterns have led to extended dry seasons and fewer sources of water and grazing grounds. As these essential resources become scarce, cattle keepers are forced to abandon their traditional boundaries and expand into contested terrain. Catcall is a young cattle herder from South Sudan's notorious cattle rustling triangle, the nexus point of three heavily pastoral states where weapons possession is rampant and cattle raiding is a near daily occurrence. He was shot as he drove his cattle outside of the traditional grazing grounds and into the lands of a neighboring subtribe. <laughs> Gunshot injuries like the one affecting cat call are common in the cattle rustling triangle. So the whole community depends on the cattle, and that is all about the issue of. Uh, firearms actually. So whenever you somebody comes and takes the cattle, they have to do it, they have to revenge. So all the community, they depend on cows because as you can be able to see, 
no farming which is going on, so everybody is depending on the cows for their income. With a persistent threat of raiding, diminishing resources, and an absence of government security forces, South Sudan's cattle herders use small arms as a means of ensuring their own community security. Government-led forceful disarmament campaigns have presented serious challenges. Now disarmament has been, or the removal of arms from civilian population has been actually, it was tried forcefully as a reaction to ensure peace and order. But that was met with resistance. And it became more or less a confrontation between communities and the disarming forces. Adur, who never moves without his weapon, believes that disarmament must consider the delicate balance of power between pastoral groups. In order to constructively mitigate these challenges, Safer World provides support, training, research, and advice to its government and civil society partners. Through these key partnerships, Safer World works to encourage dynamic and strategic solutions to the challenges of armed violence by addressing the root causes of conflict. There are some communities who have selected building of police stations, yes, and we are doing so. There are communities who have selected agricultural schemes, yes, they are being provided. There are uh, communities who, which have selected water catchments for their, for their cattle, said so that they don't migrate from place to another in search of water and so on. This has been done. These consultations were held, actually were uh, pursue with the help of Safer World organization. The causes of armed violence in South Sudan are deep-seated and complex, requiring active, thoughtful, and cooperative engagement on behalf of government institutions, civil society, and their international partners. The prevalent reliance on small arms and light weapons for the assurance of community security is a challenge that requires dynamic and informed responses.